Coming to the stage are uh, Julia uh, Bonds, better known as Judy. Judy is the co-director for Coal River Mountain Watch. She's a coal miner's daughter, granddaughter, and she is an Appalachian American and her family has lived in the Coal River Valley in West Virginia for 10 generations. Next is Kimberly Wasserman Nieto. Uh, Kimberly is the Little Village Environmental Justice Organization's coordinator and she has worked at LVGAO since 1998. She has participated and facilitated in national trainings with Community Toolbox and the US EPA. Currently as coordinator, she oversees the community projects, leadership development, and inner workings of the organization. And Dr. Beverly Wright uh, is here with us also today. And Dr. Wright is a professor of sociology and founding director of the Deep South Center for Environmental Justice, formerly at Xavier University, now at Dillard University in New Orleans. Louisiana. The Deep South Center for Environmental Justice is one of the few community universe partnerships that addresses environmental and health inequalities in the lower Mississippi River Industrial Corridor known as Cancer Alley. For more than 15 years, she has been a leading scholar, advocate, and activist in the environmental justice arena. And I'm proud to say that all of these are our friends and colleagues in this struggle. I give to you uh, Judy Bonds. <laughs> Hello, I'm honored to be here today, and I come to you with a very important message from the holler to the hood. Clean coal is a dirty lie. <laughs> coal is slowly killing us all from cradle to grave, and coal is poisoning our children, and it's the number one cause of climate change. We're all brothers and sisters on this earth, and the environment is the one thing that connects us all. You know, I don't mind being poor, and I don't mind being made fun of, but I do mind being blasted and poisoned, and don't you dare poison my babies. We told our children to clean up their rooms, but look at the toxic mess we're leaving them to clean up. In a few minutes, I'm going to show you a film clip, and you'll see the cradle extraction part of coal, and it shows the three and a half million pounds of explosive used daily in our communities the poisoning of our air and our water, and it has traditional mountain music in it. It's who we are. The mercury from coal is dumbing down our children, our babies, and it's time for us to stand together for the future. If you saw someone putting poison in a baby's bottle, wouldn't you knock him away and scream stop it and say, don't you get up or I'll hurt you? Well, then let's do that. Let's stop corporations from poisoning our babies. We need to get mainstream America involved in the environment and in climate change. I want you to join us in Washington, D.C. on March the 2nd, the day after power shift, in a protest and mass civil disobedience against the dirty coal-fired power plant on Capitol Hill. It's burning the coal that comes from my community. We need actions and protests to help President Obama implement his plan for a better life for us all. And this will give our president the mandate that he needs to say to his critics, see, this is what the people want and need. President Obama needs our help. We need more action and more protest, more letters to the editor, more blogs. Put the pedal to the metal. Get out of your seats and into the streets and start really being activists. There are no jobs on a dead planet, none whatsoever. And now we'll see the film clip. It's called Heaven and Hell. Flat in the hill. 
Rise Up America. Not just West Virginia, but Rise Up America, because I'm going to connect the dots for you with the next three uh, pictures that I'm going to show. It's the toxic coal ash spill in Harriman, Tennessee. And that's the other end of coal, the, the cradle to grave part, the grave part of coal. And if I lived in the inner city, I'd be asking, so where are you putting all that waste at, buddy? You know, that's a very important question. And I think that's the question that everybody needs to ask. Yeah, you're taking all that mercury and arsenic and stuff out, and then where are you putting it? Uh, and this, you can see, this is the actual dam that uh, where they were storing the coal waste at after they burned it. And this is the, the community of homes and the river that flows by their, by their, their homes, that, the rivers which they enjoyed, where they get their drinking water at. And the morning they woke up and they was completely surrounded by this gray, gooey, ooey, gooey ash uh, that uh, now is making people sick. These people are being now tested for heavy metal poisoning. This uh, looks like a scene from um, The Lord of the Rings. It looks like <laughs> Mordor. It's uh, a, a guy canoeing through that, that mess that came from the coal ash. And the problem is the more coal we burn, the more waste we make. And it's time to stop burning coal. It's time to put up solar panels and windmills and reduce our energy needs whatsoever because we have to take responsibility for what we're using as well. So... Um, this, this picture here, and, and the problem is, if it wasn't for a local community group, no one in America would have heard anything about this toxic ash spill. It would have just been a bottom line on CNN. And because a local group, a grassroots group, moved into the area, United Mountain Defense, uh, actually a group of Earth Firsters moved in and actually got the community to questioning exactly what's happening here. And so from that, we had a little bit more media coverage on this. Guys, we need media reform, and we need it badly. We definitely need media reform because they're hiding things like this, but they're showing us what Britney's doing, and I don't really care what Britney's doing. <laughs> I just really don't care. <laughs> but um, basically, this is what we're dealing with. And even if they tell you in your inner city that they're using a dry press method and they're going to use it on uh, snowy roads to reduce the, the, the snow, the problem is you're still breathing that. Your children are breathing that. And it's full of toxic heavy metals. So um, I will turn it over to my colleagues and um, just want you to remember my message. Clean coal is a dirty lie.